Morning, morning, everyone. Um, this was my camp spot last night, just right in here. And um, off the road a little bit because um, this road is definitely used. So I got to camp early ish, five ish, and kind of just fiddled around, read a little bit, cooked up some dinner. I actually did two dinners ramen and a pasta side. And um, I wanted to camp off the road because it, I didn't know if it was used or not, and it is. So um, around 6.30 ish, um, a buggy came by with about three locals on it. They stopped to talk, really nice folks. They actually um, were going up to the hunting club that's down the road a little bit. And um, so they, the guy dropped off his buddies at the hunting club, he came back. He actually gave me some extra water, which was very friendly. Told me all about the area, and um, which was awesome. So <laughs> around 11 o'clock after I had gone to sleep, I hear them drive back down, um, leaving the hunting club for the night. And I um, thought they were gonna just drive past, but somebody gets out of a car and I hadn't seen a car on here. They're like, oh, do you have a permit to camp here? Scared the hell out of me. Like, uh, no, and they started cracking up. So, um, all in good fun, and um, just uh, got up and hung out for about 30 minutes, talked with them for a little bit, and super friendly people. But um, yeah, that's why I'm getting a little later start to the day. Sleep got um, interrupted a little bit, so it's about seven o'clock now, but not too worried about it because <clears throat> I was looking at the mileage I am I just have to average 22 miles for the next three days to be able to Nero into town on Monday. So not too bad mileage wise. And I have this type of walk for the next nine miles this morning. But um, yeah, if you uh, plan on doing the road walk out of Cave Springs and um, want a stealth spot on this road, you can do it. Just um, don't camp on the road itself because it definitely is used. And um, if it's a weekend, I can definitely see it being used a little bit more. So um, just a little, little heads up. But super friendly guys, super friendly locals. And like I said, oh, he even gave me um, peanut butter crackers. So that was pretty cool. And um, yeah, it's good, good spot. Talked about the trail a little bit. Talked about the mountains around here and super super friendly so wasn't too worried about it all right got about yeah like i said eight or nine miles of this this morning and then i'll be back on trail trail i think all right please so um this is how close i actually was to the hunting club about a about a mile i think this is probably where everybody was going last night. I don't know what exactly it entails, but um, pretty sure that's where, <laughs> where they were going to hang out, meet the other locals, you know, kick it. But yeah, cruisy, cruisy walking this morning. Really cruisy. All right. All right, that was a uh, Hilton Creek, mile 217.6. And um, let's see, where did I camp? 212.3. So about 5.3 from where I camped. Um, and in that 5.3, I have not seen any more desirable camp spots. So, um, Depending on how big of days you want to push, that was that's another twenty. That's a twenty-nine from Cave Springs. I did a twenty-four and some change. But um, yeah, depending on how big you want to push, 
you could push all the way to this trailhead, which is another four, I believe, from here. And uh, it has vault toilets and everything, but, oh man. Yeah, just giving you a heads up. Whew, I'm gonna take the honor honorary trail name Silk for this trail. The amount of silk blazing I'm doing, oh my God. It's, <clears throat> even with how wide this trail is, I'm just silk blazing left and right. Spider webs all over the arms, the face, and I'm trying to dodge them. Like if I see one, I dodge it, but there's some that, whew, they'll just smack you right in the face. Oh, and side note, so somebody had commented about aggressive dogs at mile 216-ish when you see a church on your left-hand side. I didn't run into any, and I passed there probably about 8.20-ish a.m. So um, it might have been the time of the day, who knows, but I didn't see any aggressive dogs, so that was pretty, pretty nice. All right, so we're going to keep cruising. All right, <clears throat> that's Clark's Creek. Oh, here we go. Good view right there. Mile 219.5, really good water source. And um, I'm gonna go another mile point two. You cross this other creek twice and um, I'm gonna stop there for water. All right, see you then. All right, here's the first crossing of Tallyfero Creek. And um, I'm going to the second crossing. I think it'll be a little easier to grab water because you don't have to cross a footbridge apparently. All right, second crossing of Tallyfero Creek. Um, not bad water source. And um, that's mile 220.7. And so I cameled up there and I'm packing out three liters of water, which um, more than I want to carry. But so within the next mile or mile or two, there's a couple seasonal there's two seasonal sources which I'm not gonna trust because um, if you don't if there's no water there you hop up on a ridge line here shortly and for mile from that source 220.7 to around 234 and a half there's no water so it's about a 14 mile 14 mile waterless section up on a ridge it's already a hot day, so I didn't want to risk it. And um, yeah, cameled up, packing out a good amount of water, and um, gonna probably drink a liter every three or four miles. So that would get me to 12, and then the last two miles, if I'm waterless, I'll just kind of run into the source. So yeah, good, good plan, and see how she plays out. All right, all right, all right. All right. Pinhoti Trail Trailhead. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so this is High Point Trailhead. Yeah, here's a sign up here. So it looks like it has a kind of outhouse, a little picnic table, and I'm gonna get you the board up here. But um, 
yeah back on trail like trail trail not road walking or kind of road walking i mean it wasn't too bad for the last 10 15 miles it was more gravel Pinhoti trail little bench something's picking the trash through here so um i don't know if you want to try to throw something out And then High Point Trailhead. Chattahoochee, baby. Chattahoochee. See if I can get you that. Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna be difficult to read. Cool. Back to the trail. All right. So super mellow climb to get on top of the ridge line itself. I think I'm at mile 223.5 where it intersects with this dirt road and um got to meet another hiker not a through hiker not a Pinhoti hiker just a day hiker but it was nice to talk hiking for a little bit and um he was an older gentleman and this year he's gonna do Mount Hood and Mount Rainier out west and once he gets those two high points, he will have done all the high points in the continuous 48 states since he's been retired. So that was pretty impressive. I was kind of asking him about where different high points were, kind of <clears throat> what it took to get to them. And it sounded really, really interesting. So that might be another thing on the list eventually. Just requires a whole lot of travel. And I guess I've already knocked a couple off. Mount Albert, Colorado. Um, Mount Washington. New Hampshire. Um, let's see. Mount Whitney, Cali. Uh, Mount Sassafras, South Carolina. So I've gotten a couple just from the trail systems themselves. But um, yeah, he was a really interesting guy. It was nice to kind of quiz him about the high points he's done. And he actually does this trail um, once a day to get into shape for his trips to do, do the high points. So cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, peace. Pretty cool. Some pretty nice looking flowers along this, uh, I'm not gonna call this a road walk. It's a forest service road walk. Ah, there was still the word road in it. It's a forest service walk. All right. All right, getting into, if not close to, um, Floyd State Park, Pinhoti Loop Trail, Pinhoti Loop Trail. So I believe if you take the left-hand trail, the Blue Blaze, which usually means the Pinhoti. Um, one sec, there's another sign up here. Yeah, this is not the way you want to go. Um, so yeah, continue on straight. Don't take a turn when you hit this sign. And it looks like a yellow blaze, actually, so... Hmm. Oh, well, whatever. I'm still on the Pinhoti. Figure it out as I walk. But it's nice, actually. It's a actual trail. Um, I've been saying we've get, been getting back to trail for a while now, but this is an actual, mm, actual, actual trail. It still might be a four-wheeler type area here, but feels good. Feels good. And a couple clouds rolled in, so it's not um, terribly, terribly hot. It was starting to climb though. If those clouds didn't roll in, whew, that heat was starting to climb. But it's all good now. And we go. <clears throat> all right.
So, um, when you're crossing that road, there was a comment about move pretty fast because it's some blind corners. Definitely move fast because um, it's a blind hill, so you can't really see them until they're up on the hill. And um, yeah, those cars are hauling. But besides that, doing good. And um, yeah, got a little another baby climb ahead of me. And only a couple miles to water. Sweet. All right, now for some uh, overgrown trail. That's what I hear. All right, I don't think that applies to me. I didn't see a date on it. So that means they either did it a while ago or they still haven't figured out when they're gonna do it. But it's about, I would say that sign's about half a mile from um, the water source. So, yeah, just a heads up maybe. I don't know when they're ever gonna do that though. And we go. All right, so um, I think I might've found home for the night. Mile 234.8, you cross the stream and uh, I'll show you how good the water source is. And I was correct, there was no water for that ridge line which is about 14 miles, so, um, yeah, this was the first water in a while. Pretty good, looking pretty good to me. And, um, if you go in Nobo, you cross it a little bit, you walk right up here, and you got a fire ring. I'm not gonna make a fire, but, um, I'm gonna set up my tent, and then also, this rock looks super comfortable. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on the GoPro, but, the curve to it is like almost perfect for a backrest. So that's calling my name. Um, let's see. Probably did, I think it's a 22 and a half for today. Um, still early, but there's no point if I'm trying to get into Dalton Monday. The last camp spot is at like 278. So if I push more today, there was. I was looking at the map, nothing really foreseeable in the future. And, um, yeah, I mean, this is what it is. Now, now I just need to do two more 22 miler, miler days and then I can Nero in on Monday. So that's the plan. I'm gonna enjoy that rock a little lean, um, grab some agua and hang out. And that's not gonna be, it's gonna be nice not to be woken up uh, around midnight tonight hopefully uh, all right peace